Hello everybody, Princess Barry here. I'm feeling a bit snacky. I would love me some amazing tapas and dolmas. So we're going to Spice Road Table. Yes. Be sure to Arabian Nights. You heard the girl. Yeah. This is the beautiful pomegranate acai drink. It has um, vitamin water in it with vodka. So I think this is probably like a healthier cocktail than some of your other ones. Still a cocktail though, but a very delicious one. I love pomegranate. I love acai. Acai is a superfood. I would give this a four and a half out of five pomegranates. I will probably drink a couple of these. No shame either. Vitamin water, no. I think you'll be hard pressed to find any doctor that's going to claim that this with vodka is healthy for you. You'd probably say, obviously skip the vodka, but uh, I'm not a doctor. No, I had never considered vitamin water as an actual mixture to an alcoholic drink. So this is kind of low-key refreshing. I think given the nature of both this restaurant theming, it works. Four to five plus. I would drink a bucket of this, which kind of scares me. We have a beautiful mint tea with some Bombay. Gin bites. The mint is a nice like balance, so everything is has got a beautiful flavor profile. It really sends you from one flavor to the next to the next. I can't get mad at it for that, even though I'm not a fan of the flavors. So I guess I'm gonna give it a three out of five mints. It's good. It's too minty for me. I'm not a big mint person. So I'm trying something different today. I'm not much of a gin drinker, but something about a mint tea with gin that just sounded like something nice and relaxing. The princess got a refreshing drink, so I figured I should get a refreshing drink. I'm not a fan of tea on its own. I try teas every now and then. But gin and tea is just not, I don't know. If I hate it, I didn't do it myself. It actually quite worked for me. It's like drinking spearmint gum with a kick, but in a good way. Like, it's a nice sipping drink, not from here in a chug, but I find it fairly cooling and refreshing. Maybe it's time to try mojitos again. Three and a half out of five bucks. My reason for living, not really, but I love these dolmas, they're so good. I, I was very tempted to order two, but I just got the one for now. It's got some lemon, some uh, growth lemon that I'm gonna wait and not put on so that Bear can enjoy it without my lemon love. And then some beautiful gherkins, olives, um, garlic. Nice little side here. Let's go ahead and just take the dolma. I feel like every time we come here, they get smaller and smaller. Nice, beautiful filling of rice and dill and herbs. Tastes very much like Persian food, which is why I love it so much. I will give it four and a half out of five dolmas. And then I'm just gonna eat a gherkin because I like them. Mmm, oh, got like a nice tang to it too. Like this video if you like gherkins. Comment on this video what kind of pickles you like. If you like pickles. Here we have the dolmas in this little like Mediterranean salad over here. As a surprise to the princess, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the lemon anyway to try it as it should be tried. Yes, there are some foods that I don't like, but every once in a while, you gotta live outside the box a little bit. Mm. A little bit of lemon, not too much, does go a long way. Or it's tying everything together. You get like a complete sensation in your mouth. Nice, filled to the brim. Got that filling there. 
I approve. I feel like it's something we should learn to make at home at some point. As usual, if you guys have double recipes that you think that we can make, it wouldn't be too hard for us. By all means, let us know. This is a snack that we would 100% devour. Four to five balls. So we have this beautiful cauliflower. I love these cauliflower. It's my favorite new addition to the menu. The only issue is they're so large. So I gotta use a knife. Nice, crispy, beautiful piece of cauliflower. Dripping in that sauce. protein when you have cauliflower. It's just so good. It's so versatile. I love this one. I'm going to give it um, four and a half out of five cauliflowers. I feel like if you want tapas, if you're just here for like a random day, 1000% spice road table. I won't let you down. And they have the hummus fries on here all the time too. We love us some hummus fries. Look at these massive, massive cauliflower breaded and in the sauce. I normally have a things that would issue with things being over sauce, but these things were just made to suck up sauce. And I'm always excited to see new clever ways to do cauliflower. Down that. Mm. It's like a sweet and sour cauliflower. It's Mediterranean. It's basically where you land at. It's definitely a unique flavor like, to that region. While still being something familiar, the cauliflower is roasted great. The breading is amazing. Everything sort of ties together like that. I would say it was equal to the meatball. If you're plant-based and you come here, I say the cauliflower is a must-get. And still a five out of five claws for me. I love the tapas style of spice rote, but it lets you, lets you try a lot of things without breaking the bank. And even have samplers if you haven't had this place before. So, being that we've been here, I decided to go deep in on two of my favorites. So, I got the spiced chicken, which the solo portion is a lot more like plated. You got the tabbouleh on top, a little bit of pita sticking up in here, and you got this little bed of yogurt that it's on. So, I'm going to try to get a little bit of all of that. I love me some Greek yogurt. The pita's like crackers almost. Look at the tabbouleh. Mm. It's one thing that Mediterranean food gets right, it's chicken. They know how to spice and season their chicken. I wish all people of all countries and regions could spice chicken this well. But as we well know, somebody has to be bad at it. Not throwing any names out there. But that is some good chicken. Four and a half out of five possible. So we have a delicious like serving trough of lamb ketchka. It almost looks like you're supposed to like dig your face into this whole thing, but it's a beautiful little tray with like three kefka meatballs and yogurt with some little like grilled tomatoes in it. Let's go ahead and attack this middle meatball here. Go ahead and crack it them. Deliciously juicy inside. Ah, uh, yes. Roasted to perfection here. Get it all rolled up in the yogurt. A little lease in there. We like a meatball covered in the sauce. Mm. Deep smoky roasted lamb flavor. Not grease at all. The tea. The, like the, the yogurt based tahini sauce that it's sitting in. Sort of pairs well with spice or the, the, the meatball itself is a little bit spicy. They're like hot spice but well seasoned spicy. So you can 
feel like the spice on your tongue and the uh, tzatziki yogurt where it mellows that out. That's good. I would say if you're gonna get anything when you come here, that's a five out of five claws. My bear necessities. It's like that flavor is like a Disney firework show in your mouth. Spice Road Table, again, consistently amazing. I absolutely love it. It's a little taste of home. Since we're combining everything Middle Eastern, Moroccan, Arabian, all in this pavilion, I enjoy it for that, I guess. I mean, I'll take what I can get. I know there's never going to be an Iran pavilion. Disney, it's time to put some respect in the Moroccan name. You upgraded Spice Road Table. Now it's time for the rest of the pavilion, I think. They're going to make this whole thing Aladdin, which uh, isn't really uh, fit, but, you know, I'm, I'm we're going to go with it. I'm trying to give them more credit than We're going to go with it. She's probably right, though. Either way, I want to know when was the last time you guys went to Spice Table and why you haven't been there yet. Let me know in the comments. If there's anything else around Epcot, period, that you'd like to see us do, that's the same place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, well, Bear is just going to go yeet himself into some body of water that he's actually allowed to yeet himself into. We're not trying to get banned over here. Anything but the St. John's River.